Hallelujah, praise the Lord. How are you doing? How are you doing? We just got interesting news. We still are red zone, praise God. We are not containment zone anymore, but we are still red zone. We heard that still in some places we have clusters of new infections. I don't know, something very weird happened to me, you know. I was carrying a very, very heavy burden for this coronavirus situation. I studied, studied, studied so much. Very interestingly, we studied about the herbs and um, the natural healing and herbs that can stop the replication of virus. I made our precious people to study, to go deep into that. And in February already, midst February, we could provide a kashayam, a herbal tea, to our people to protect them from this virus replication. So we are very, very happy to see that it's now officially recommended, government is officially recommending to use herbals, herbal teas for protection, for strengthening the immune system. We are extremely excited about that. Also government is recommending C vitamin and even zinc government is recommending. We are extremely happy about that. Vitamin D3 is another very important thing to keep your immunity. There's a very dangerous thing of having to sit in a longer lockdown. I tell you, if you have never prayed for your leaders, now is the time to pray for the secular leaders. You don't know the torture they go through. You don't know the struggles they go through, the many different voices they hear, the many different interests that are there. On one hand, the health of the population. On the other hand, the economy crumbling, collapsing, when the shops cannot open, the supply chain breaking down. You know, it's... We are very dependent upon one another. People don't consider how much we are depending upon one another. Supply chain means many small links. And if one link is broken, the chain cannot function. So it's actually a very extremely serious time. You need to pray for kings for all those who are in authority, in the secular authority and also in the spiritual authority. How many pastors are sitting there? You know, two, three days ago, suddenly I got such a burden for people, for servants of God. Even for the pastors sitting at home, sitting and not having meetings, churches not allowed together. In most of the nations, even now, churches are not allowed together because of the fear that the virus can spread from one person to another in closed rooms especially. Closed rooms are very dangerous. AC systems are very dangerous. If you have one infected person breathing, the virus can sit in the AC ducts nicely, keep multiplying, keep going into people, it can live there for a long time, not multiply, it can live there for a long time, and it can infect new people and keep multiplying in new people. So it's very, very difficult for the natural, secular leaders to find what to do, how to handle the situation, pray for them. They need God's wisdom more than ever before. So our people sitting at home, our pastors that cannot feed their congregations. You know, the other day I really saw a strong spirit of suicide trying to attack even pastors, even spiritual leaders. Because Germany, for example, has banned mass gatherings up to end of August. Argentina has banned all flights inland and international, inland international up to September. So we don't know when normal life can start again. Virus keeps going around for some time. The Spanish flu, it was also influenza virus. It lasted over two years. It came in three different waves and it lasted over two years. So we are not sure. You know, we need to pray and hear God. If you see chapter Deuteronomy 28, many, many people will say it's ah, Old Testament. It's not needed for today. You know how needed it is even for today? It's not telling you anything, um, anything, la, 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 la. The Holy Spirit showed me one day, it actually says, if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God, to observe carefully all his commandments, which I command you today. See, diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God. To obey all the commandments. Of course, we have the foundation of the Bible. Of course, we have the foundation of the Word of God. By the foundation of the Word of God, we know that God made us in the beginning, male and female. Amen. By the foundation of the Word of God, we know that God fixed the gender. It's not that you can select what you want to be. You're born with every cell of your body telling you whether you're male or female. Human, animal, everywhere the same stuff. So you have... You have the commandment of the Lord your God. That's the foundation of your life. But then you can diligently obey the voice of the Lord. That means the things he speaks to you through his word 
through revelation, through the inner voice, through people coming to you, you will hear the voice of God speaking into your situation. You need that. And this is what you need to diligently obey. So I feel so strongly that this is the time for people to really pray for the leadership, for spiritual leadership, for secular leadership, for every area of leadership. You know, in Germany, two finance ministers already have committed suicide. I think they would have been good people, you know? They would have seen in which uh, direction the whole situation is going, and they couldn't bear it. They couldn't bear having to tell people, hey, your life savings will be out. So they preferred to commit suicide because they didn't know what to do. So people are in great, grave danger. People who don't know how to feed their families are in great, grave danger. Can we pray right now for everybody who is an authority, for every kind of leader, can we pray right now for hope, for joy, for peace, for God's voice to come into their lives? Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless our leaderships. We bless our secular leaderships. We bless our spiritual leadership. We bless them. Let the peace of God come upon them. Lord, any sin they have committed, we just bring it under the blood of Jesus. Let them not be tortured by the demonic spirits that have access to them because of any sin that was committed. Let them not have to follow and obey the demonic voices torturing them. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, help them. Help them to even confess, even repent, even say, sorry, I did some wrong things. Maybe I cheated people. Maybe my own cheating, now it is torturing me, haunting me, coming back to me. I don't know how to survive. I want to commit suicide. Lord, all such people, we just claim the blood of Jesus, even over the sins they have committed. We claim the blood of Jesus. Lord, any curse that they have invited into their lives by their own sins, we just command it to be broken in the name of Jesus. Lord, let the peace of God come upon them. Let hope of God come upon them. Lord, speak to them. Show them how even they can do restitution. Show them how they can come out of this devil's grip how they can come out and feel again the peace of God, feel again the rest of God. I can see many people sitting at home knowing I have done this and this and this. Oh, yo, this is why now I'm in such a situation. Oh, I didn't obey here. I was not diligent there. You can just right now confess it to God. No matter whether you are a believer or unbeliever, you can confess to God. You confess and say, I made this mistake. I made this mistake. Jesus Christ has died for your sins. Jesus Christ has paid with his blood so that you don't need to bear your own blood guilt. You don't need to kill yourself because you did something that destroyed other people's lives. You don't need to. Jesus gave his blood for that. You can live a completely new and different life. I just want to pray against all these devil's attempt to make so many people commit suicide, to make so many people destroy their lives. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, take control. Let the peace of God come upon the leaders. Let the rest of God come upon the leaders. All the demonic voices torturing them, haunting them. I rebuke them in the name of Jesus. Every devil's plan and devil's strategy trying to work in the leaders and through the leaders, I break it in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, just take control. Let the peace of God rule and reign. Let them be able to sleep peacefully. Lord, even in dreams and visions, you can give them ideas how to bless their nations, how to bless their people. We just bless them in Jesus' name. Amen.